So there's this mistake that I used to do with my extension cord as well as my iron box. And it led to the damaging of these pots in this one. And I am only remaining with two pots that are working. And I will share with you right now. This is what I used to do. I will turn this switch on when the iron box is on, on this knob. And then I will turn this switch on. So you see by turning that on, the iron box is on. And then after I'm done ironing, instead of turning it off from here, I will turn it off from the extension. And that would bring a spark on this switch because this switch is not meant to handle sparks or heavy loads. An iron box is a heater and basically heaters are classified as heavy loads. So by doing that, I damaged these two pots. What I should have been doing was to first of all turn these knobs to the minimum, meaning turning the iron box off at the knob and then turn this switch on whether i'm turning it on or off after i turn it on now i can turn the iron box on to whatever level i want then after i'm done ironing instead of switching it off from the extension of the socket i can then turn this knob to the off position or i should wait until this indicator here is off it will mean that the iron box is not on, it has disconnected before I can turn off at the extension. Now, constant sparking because of the heavy load that is drawn by this iron box has led to the damage of these pots. I'm now remaining with only those two working pots. If I don't use it the way it is supposed to, I will lose my extension. The same applies to our appliances that we use at home in the kitchen, especially such as the microwave, the refrigerator, the heating kettle, and also the cooker. Ensure that you first of all turn them on or off before you can reach for the socket or the extension. Because the switches that are on these appliances have been made in a way that they can be able to handle heavy switching or basically heavy currents. If you find this information helpful, you can implement it in your home. Kindly subscribe to our channel for more tips on home electrical appliances.